permit. So first of all, I was told you witnessed an incident where uh, as, as the, the twins were pretty young, one of them was thrown. Yeah. Okay, so what, what do you remember happening? Um, so the little boy was in a, a car seat and their dad came to pick him up to like take him to dinner or something. And um, the dad is like pretty aggressive and um, doesn't really have a grasp on like how to handle his feelings. So he frequently got, you know, angry and upset and manifested that physically, you know, often, multiple times. Um, and it didn't really take anything at all to set him off. Um, and so lo and behold, you know, on a certain day, he, the father got set off while preparing the twins to go into his car. And the little boy was in a car seat and got thrown because, you know, the father didn't really have a, doesn't really have control um, over his actions and was kind of thrown a tantrum. Um, and just kind of like underhand tossed this car seat with the little boy in it, like a good four to six feet across the driveway. Just because he was angry, you know? So... Um, if the car seat had landed the wrong way, that could have been really problematic, am I right? Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's never never healthy for a child to be airborne, um, it, it, like in any... It sounds like, uh, luckily, it probably landed, so it was like the bottom of the car seat onto the ground. Right. But that's not pure. I, I don't think the guy was trying, necessarily. Okay, and then you... I, I don't know if you reported that to, to CPR. You you did tell someone, right? Yeah, someone involved in the legal case. I can't tell you exactly who, but a woman from um, the legal case was collecting information, and and I told her all of those details um, and everything. Yeah, that was on the record. And do you know that, that she sounded like she was taking it seriously, or...? Um, you know, I couldn't really be sure. Um, she, she asked follow-up questions, but it was mainly on, like, the distance of the throw and, like, not really about the father or the child. Um, it didn't really seem like she was interested in, in, like, the resolution. More so just kind of meaning the facts, like... Like, how high did the car seat get? And how far was it thrown? Like, you know, at some point, it doesn't really matter how far you throw a child, but you threw a child. Right. Yeah. If it, 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 it was only four feet, it's okay, but if it crossed the six foot threshold, then. Exactly. It was, it was like she was trying to find that, okay. and now that did you, place. Did you ever talk to the guardian ad litem in this case? Um, the father? The guardian ad, oh, I'm sorry, the guardian ad litem. Did you ever talk? Um, I don't think so. I don't really know what that means, to be honest. Okay, well, then it sounds like... Cause they, my understanding was the guardian at Lightham never included this incident, uh, which is problematic in itself. And then you witnessed other incidents with this guy being violent as well? Yeah, I mean, uh, living in the area for long enough to see him frequently... Um, yeah, he just uh, carried that aggressive temperament pretty much all the time. Okay. And um, it's just kind of creepy. Like, the twins would sometimes point at the woods and, like, say Dada because he was kind of known for lurking around in the woods mm -hmm. um, near the mom's property, mm -hmm. like the backyard, you know, not even, like, off the street. And mm -hmm. multiple times he admitted to, like, coming out to the twins' window at the mother's house and, like, peeking in the window and, and you know, just Wait, generally being pretty ominous. He admitted to stalking? To, like, looking into the window and all that? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's admitted to that multiple times. Um, and mainly as a diving board to get angry at the mother. Um, for instance,
since like being mad about their sleeping arrangement. Well, he would only know about that sleeping arrangement if he was, you know, creeping up at the window and things like that. Um, okay. And yeah. Then, this was right, but he also made a lot of calls to CPS. Were you aware of that as well? Yeah, yeah, he would use CPS as like a as like a weapon, um, definitely, mm-hmm. and like a means of slowing down the mother's progress of raising her own children. Yeah, I mean, he would just call them and report the mother to CPS off of you know, whatever charge she would like to come up with that day. Mm-hmm. Yes, would get involved and, you know, open up this whole case and everything. And they never really looked into the father, um, but would always just, mm-hmm. you know, if I could say wrongly, look into the mother. And there was never any, like, fruition of that, at least that I know of. Like, they never found anything. Multiple drug tests were done mm-hmm. and passed, like... Nothing was, nothing was brought up because there was nothing there. Mm-hmm. Um, but that didn't stop him from just calling in a new case to mm-hmm. get her wrapped up in that again and make her look bad. And All right. So it doesn't sound like CPS was too worried about the constant false allegations. Right. You'd think you would look into that if you... Kept hearing the boy cry wolf, but it didn't really seem like they cared. Right, especially when he's being accused of, of being physically violent as well. Right, right. So you, you didn't, were you uh, called to testify at the trial or not? Um, I was going to, mm-hmm. and then, um, like the day that the trial was supposed to happen, I was supposed to, like, phone call in uh, or video call in, mm-hmm. but. Um, it didn't happen. Right, all of these things you were you were planning on testifying to at the trial as well. Right, yeah. All right, anything else that you can think of? I mean, there's just, you know, countless interactions of just, like, anger, and you can tell mm-hmm. uncontrolled emotion. Okay. Um, like, multiple times he'd be picking up the kids and just say, like, Daddy hates Mommy, and, like, Mommy's a whore. Mommy is like he, horrible. He would badmouth her to the kids. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's interesting. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I'll ask. I thought he was never accused of French alienation himself. I know that's actually a standard definition. But okay, and all of these, and then you would testify that, in your opinion, the the fitter parents is the mom. Yeah, I like witnessed that firsthand. Okay.